Hello everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Gaytree Persaud. I want to remind you that of something I've been saying this week. Please be patient with me. I notice my nails may be distracting to you. But that's because I'm also an actor and I'm working on another project. So please be patient with me. You know I love all of you, our loyal Sign One News subscribers. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. Ukrainian officials have condemned Russia's missile attack on Kyiv which occurred while the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres was visiting. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky said immediately after the meeting ended, five Russian missiles flew into the city, injuring several people when missiles hit an apartment building. After the meeting, Guterres called Ukraine the center of hell, saying he witnessed firsthand the senseless loss of life, the mass destruction, the unacceptable violation of human rights, and the laws of war. He promised the United Nations will not give up on achieving peace. At the White House, President Biden proposed an unprecedented $33 billion for Ukraine for weapons, ammunition, and supplies. That amount of money is more money than the military budgets from most countries. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill say that huge amount of money could take weeks to pass through Congress. But the goal is to approve it before Memorial Day. Back in February, we told you about a massive nationwide recall of three popular brands of baby formula. Abbott Nutrition announced the recall after products from the company's facility in Sturgis, Michigan were linked to bacterial illness in babies. Two babies died. But here is the latest update. A former employee at Abbott Nutrition documented his concerns about poor cleaning practices, falsified records, and instances where employees knowingly put out formula that may have been contaminated. He sent a detailed report to the FDA months before the baby formula was removed from grocery store shelves. He also said he was fired for raising safety concerns. Abbott says it's investigating and cooperating with the FDA's investigation. But now the FDA is also under scrutiny because it received the complaint in October, did not interview the employee until December, and did not do an in-person inspection of the facility until January. Former Minnesota police officer Derek Chauvin is currently serving 22 and a half year prison sentence for his conviction in the death of a black man named George Floyd. 
but now his attorney is asking for a new trial because he believes the original trial was unfair. Chauvin's lawyer filed an appeal that says jurors in the trial were not sequestered after protests erupted following the death of Dante Wright, which happened during the last week of Chauvin's trial. It goes on to claim the judge wrongfully excluded evidence about police training materials. James Corden has been the host of the Late Late Show since 2015, but now he's ready to call it quits. During Thursday's show, he announced he will leave the show next year. He said he feels 2023 is the right time to move on to other projects. He also said his final season will go out with a bang. Among the more popular features Corden brought to the small screen include Crosswalk the Musical and Carpool Karaoke, both of which generated billions of views on YouTube. Check out this incredible video. A tiger shark tried to eat an underwater camera and it resulted in jaw-dropping video from inside the shark's mouth. Divers mounted the camera in the sand of the Indian Ocean to make a documentary about shark conservation and to dispel the myth about sharks being killers like in the movie Jaws. Viewers said the video inside the shark's mouth is insane. Tiger sharks are known as a trash can of the sea. They eat anything. Well, almost anything. The shark didn't find the camera tasty and spit it out. And finally, check out the hip shaking dance moves of nine year old Trip Femur. Trip stole the show during a dance break at his school performance, boogieing down with his best Kevin Bacon footloose moves. His mother posted the hilarious video to TikTok and it went viral, racking up more than 8 million views. It even got a stamp of approval from Mr. Footloose himself. Actor Kevin Bacon posted on Twitter, nothing to be ashamed of, just some great moves. Sign One News will be broadcasting updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the Google Play Store or App Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV. Amazon, and Roku. Have a great night.